Hey guys, how are y'all? Getting right back into it with another beer video. Um, I think that last video, it is early still, um, but No Hype has uh, made a video response uh, to my last, my previous one, uh, with the favorite beer of that style or mini styles or whatever. And the uh, Beautiful is uh, working on his. He said, give him a few days and he'll put it up. Uh, I notify Glass Bottle Beer uh, Glass can bottle beer reviews about it and I'm sure he'll put one up uh, but today I have one from Stickman Brewing Company here in Lake Oswego Oregon I don't think I've ever had a beer from them before but I saw socks and sandals and it's a really like catchy like kind of in your face kind of label so I was like you know what I'll give it a try and of course it's advertised as a hazy IPA so you know I had to you know give it a try because it's hazy come on um, it is 6.3 uh, ABV and 44 IBUs. Um, other than that, man, the can is really cool. It's literally like uh, socks and sandals, man. Like some Birkenstocks or something on there. Um, yeah, let's get this into a glass. See what it looks like. Smells like it tastes like. All right, let's see here. Okay, it's pouring a really freaking nice color, man. Real nice. Definitely hazy, man. Definitely hazy. Let's leave it at that so I can swirl it around a little bit with about a finger just kind of yellowish like pitch yellow I suppose uh, head there very small condensed bubbles very very frothy uh, yeah it looks just overall looks really nice it is definitely hazy man it looks like straight juice kind of creamy kind of thick looking too actually um, maybe I haven't used this glass in a while but it's like heavy uh, obviously the beer is not heavy it's just this glass for some reason feels heavier than usual uh, putting it to the light man you cannot see anything through that glass. It is straight orange, like really orange juice, like, and I can already smell a lot of like fruit flavors from this. It's probably gonna be like a tropical fruit basket, honestly, just from what I'm smelling. Um, yeah, let's get closer to this. Oh, dude, dude, this smells amazing. <laughs> smells freaking, oh my God. All right, so first off, you get a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of mangoes, man. Like really ripe, like not overripe, but like just perfectly ripe mangoes. Ton of peaches, some citrus, which is, I'm kind of glad that that citrus note isn't overwhelming because a lot of these IPAs, man, like the citrus kind of just straight takes over. Um, it kind of, I don't know, citrus is good, but then it also gets really boring once, you know, every IPA you drink is like citrus forward, you know what I mean? Definitely so much mangoes in this, dude. Like it kind of, so Obscured by Clouds has a lot of mangoes in it, like a lot of like the taste and the aroma, but like different from this. This is definitely different from uh, the aroma that I get from Obscured by Clouds, which I absolutely love. Yeah, a lot of peaches, man, like I just said. It's just like a tropical fruit basket in here, man. Like you definitely get the citrus, a little lemony. Yeah, after swirling it, you definitely get that lemon zest there. Yeah, dude, it's freaking amazing. All right, let's get a, let's get a taste, cheers. It's a little more carbonated than I expected. Yeah, actually, you, you get a lot of that fizziness on your tongue, but so much peach on the finish there, man. So much peach. Mouthfeel is a regular mouthfeel, which is kind of disappointing because it looks really thick and creamy, but that's not bad at all. But you definitely get mangoes in this. You get <clears throat> that lemon zest, that citrus zest. Um, just like a combination of like lime, or not lime, lemon and oranges. And then you get bitter bite in the end with the uh, peaches to round that out. It's real good. Uh, and you definitely get mangoes too towards the end there. Um, like I said, not like overripe mangoes, just mangoes that are just like, just ripe. You know how mangoes are slimy when they're like ripe, I guess. And then when they're not ripe, they're not, they're drier and more yellow. So I'm talking about mangoes that are like not super orange, and super slimy but like just the right amount of orange and just the right amount of slime I suppose um, that's that's what you get in this that carbonation man it hits your tongue and it's just like it's like pop rocks just going off um, 
definitely one of the more carbonated beers I've had in a long time. And towards the end, man, like that bitterness, it does not let off. It just, it gets more bitter after every sip, but it's definitely, definitely a good bitter. Very good. I think that, I think this is my first for sure from Stickman, and it definitely won't be my last, man. Uh, just like a tropical fruit basket in this, that's like, I, I feel like if the mouth, if they can work on the mouth feel and make it thicker, and kind of, I guess the carbonation, I don't know the carbonation, it's kind of like, oh, you get a lot of that pith now. I'm getting a lot of pith. Oh, dude. Yeah, okay, anyways. If they can, like, cut down the carbonation a little, I think, it'll do a lot for this beer. And just, overall, just increasing the mouthfeel. I don't know how you would do that if you put, like, lactose or something in it, but then that'll alter the uh, taste of the beer, I'm assuming, right? They kind of just, like, make it thicker. This would definitely be, like, like a top tier beer not that it's not now but i'm just saying for improvements uh that they should you know if they're looking to improve it uh that should be a thing that they uh should be looking into uh, but overall man very good beer very solid um, but anyways that is stickman's brewing uh at a lake oswego oregon socks and sandals hazy ipa 6.3 ibus uh i said ibus uh, abv and 44 ibus um, you guys like the video, give a thumbs up, uh, comments leave below, subscribe for more videos, yeah. subscribe for more videos, and uh, as always, dream big dreams and believe all things possible. Thank you for watching.